So what is high friction surface treatment? High friction surface treatment, also called HFST, has been proven to reduce crashes in horizontal curves. HFST uses a polymer binder and calcium bauxite aggregate. Calcium bauxite has properties that provides the most durable high friction surface versus all other aggregates. The installation process is a surface treatment that provides an open texture that allows drainage. This curve on Maysville Road in Madison County has had significant crashes. Madison County was looking for a solution. They decided to try high friction surface treatment as a solution. DBI was approached to provide a demonstration for installation of high friction surface treatment. This location had distressed pavement that wasn't suitable for high friction surface treatment. Madison County paved a short section of the curve to restore the pavement structure. This location has a slight downgrade and is coming out of a slight reverse curve. You also have two side roads intersections in the curve, which typically increase the frequency of crashes. The geometrics were also not compatible with the operating speeds. Also, this location had notable wet weather crashes. This location is a great candidate for high friction surface treatment. The second demonstration project was installed for Alabama DOT on State Highway 171 near Northport. This curve was selected because it had significant crashes. This location had notable wet weather crashes and it has a side road intersection in the curve as well as two driveways. There is a significant downgrade approaching this curve in the northbound direction. Also there is a significant site problem in the southbound direction at the point of curvature near the intersection. Operating speeds and geometric design are not compatible. To improve safety, LDOT decided to try HFST. Both demonstration projects were installed by DBI using automated equipment. This is a fast process using this equipment and it keeps lane closures to a minimum. For both demonstration projects, the host agency provided the traffic control. The Madison County site had new pavement, and the West Alabama site was in good condition. For both sites, prepping was minimal. This only required a blower to clean the dust and debris off the surface. Paper was taped to the pavement at the beginning and end of the treatment to create a crisp line. The centerline joint was set by the distribution bar. The distribution bar can be adjusted to fit the lane width on the fly as needed. The truck carries the calcium bauxite and the epoxy so it moves rather quickly. The truck spreads the epoxy the full width of the lane and is covered within three seconds with the aggregate. With automated equipment, the epoxy is measured continuously to guarantee the depth of the epoxy. The cure rate of epoxy varies with surface temperature of the pavement. During both demos, we had moderate temperatures and the epoxy cured in about an hour. Once the epoxy is cured, the surface is swept. This is to remove excess aggregate. Sweeping has to be repeated 24 hours after it's open to traffic. Both of these locations were open back to traffic within a few hours. To learn more about high friction surface treatment, visit Federal Highway's website.